Well, jury selection is underway for the trial of Christopher Clements in the death of 13 year old Maribel Gonzalez back in 2014. He's facing first degree murder charges and up to 110 years in prison. Gonzalez is one of two girls Clements is accused of killing. The other is six year old Isabel Salas. The court is close to the media and public today for jury selection, but we do know that more than 300 potential jurors received the questionnaire. Opening statements are set for Tuesday. Even though Christopher Clements is about to face a jury on charges, Mirabel Gonzalez, that case is difficult to separate from the disappearance and death of six year old Isabel Salas. Nine on your sides, Craig Smith has covered both of these cases over the years. He joins us now with more on how they all fit together. Well, you know, the remains of the girls were, were found years apart, but the locations were close together in a remote part of Avra Valley. Prosecutors say they have DNA matched Clements to Mirabel's remains and Clements led them to Isabel's bones. We interviewed Maribel Gonzalez's mother in 2017 before Christopher Clements was a suspect. She appealed for help in what then was still a cold case. Help us, help us get justice or find who did this because what if he's doing this to other people? Prosecutors say Clements did kidnap and kill another young girl, in this case, before the night Maribel Gonzalez did not come home. And that allegation ties together the lives and deaths of Maribel Gonzalez and Isabel Celis. On April 20th, 2012, Sergio Celis calls 911 to report his daughter Isabel missing. An intense search by police and the public does not find her. On June 3rd, 2014, 13-year-old Maribel Gonzalez tells her mother she's going to visit a friend. She never comes home. Her body is found three days later in a remote spot in Avra Valley. Three years later, investigators realized there were DNA samples from Maribel Gonzalez that had not been tested. They say they're a match for Christopher Clements. On March 31, 2017, Tucson police say they have found Isabel Celis remains, but they say little else. In September 14th of 2018, a grand jury indicts Christopher Clements in the murder of both Maribel Gonzalez and Isabel Celis. Documents released later say Clements offered information about Celis' remains in return for prosecutors dropping some burglary charges. He does not make clear how he knows, but leads investigators to Isabel Celis' remains in a spot near where Maribel Gonzalez was found. Now that they have a location, investigators check cell phone records. They say the day Isabel Celis disappeared, Clements' cell phone was transmitting near where her body was found, and he got a new phone the next day. Prosecutors say cell phone records also show Clement's phone was near where Maribel Gonzalez was found. Now, Maribel Gonzalez's body was found three in three days and did not spark the sort of long search and national publicity of the Isabel Sellers case. But publicity is a concern in both cases. Jurors will be excluded if attorneys believe they've already made up their minds about the case. Generally, the test is not whether a prospective juror knows about a case. It's whether that person can decide a verdict only on the evidence presented in court. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.